So how we doing everybody? Your old pal Baba Ganoush here once again. It is a beautiful Tuesday afternoon. I am up here at Greenbelt Park once again going on another fantastic day hike. We have almost exactly two weeks until I embark on my Appalachian Trail through hike. I am so excited. So needless to say, I'm a little bit antsy. I'm a little bit excited. My last day of work in fact is tomorrow. As much as sad as it is to leave such an amazing place to work, it is so exciting for what I'm going to do and all the overwhelming amount of support that I've received from all my managers, all my coworkers at work um, has definitely just made this whole transition much, much better. So while I'm out here today, I'm sure some of you who are, uh, you know, crunching down the time on their own trip there, uh, you're starting to put together your last bit of preparation. And part of that includes how you're getting yourself down to Georgia. So in today's video, I figured I'd go ahead and talk about whether me and Fernando are going to start at Amicalola or we're going to start at Springer. And then, of course, I want to talk about how we're getting down to Georgia, uh, some of the different things that we scheduled, how we're going about scheduling our transportation, so on and so forth. The reasons why we'll go ahead and get into all those details. So maybe it gives you guys some things to think about in planning your own transportation. So settle on in. Let's get some miles done here. It's a beautiful day. I want to stretch the legs and then we'll go ahead and talk about that further on down the trail. I'll talk to you guys real soon. All right, well, welcome back everybody. <clears throat> got a couple good miles in already. It's a spectacular day for a day hike. I'm so glad I got out here. But back to the topic at hand, the topic of today's video, uh, whether I'm starting at Amicalola or Springer for my Appalachian Trail through hike, and as well, how Fernando and I are actually getting down to Georgia itself. So of course, let's start with the first one. So Fernando and I will be starting at Amicalola State Park. We know that's a hugely popular way to start. Uh, we figured it'd be really cool as well to kind of weigh our packs out, you know, see the whole thing, um, as well as the falls are supposed to be beautiful. Uh, just really the whole like event of it, going to the visitor center, being a part of all that history and everything we thought would be really, really cool. So yes, we are starting at Amicalola to do the approach trail to Springer Mountain. We've heard lots of nightmare stories about how the approach trail is really tough. It's kind of like the uh, roller coaster in Northern Virginia where it's just up and down all day long. But you know, Fernando and I have been training for quite some time. We've been hiking for a lot of years as well. It's nothing that we haven't faced before. So we're really not too worried about it. We're going to start nice and early in the day, take our time, get on up there, get into shelter. Uh, the shelter we'll be staying at is the one actually just past the Springer Mountain shelter. I can't remember it off the top of my head. I'll, uh, I'll look it up and I'll leave it right down below here. But uh, we'll be going to that shelter instead of Springer Mountain shelter. Just figuring, you know, trying to beat some of the crowds and things like that, that the more likelihood that that there's more likelihood that people would go to uh, the Springer Mountain Shelter than the one past it. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna do a couple extra miles that day, but again, we're gonna get in lots of day hikes in the two weeks leading up to our through hike. So we'll be ready, we'll be rearing and ready to go. And then of course, the big topic at hand, you know, something I'm gonna spend a little bit more time talking about um, is how are we getting down to Georgia and how are we getting ourselves to uh, Amicalola and as well, you know, some of the details surrounding our trip and things like that as well, uh, so on and so forth. We'll go ahead, I'll go through every little detail for you. So, so definitely grab your pen and paper to take some notes. So of course, Fernando and I looked at all the options available to us, really weighed our options, the pros and cons with each, with each and every one. And we came out to a choice that we feel super comfortable with, as well as uh, it definitely saved us a whole lot of money in getting down there as well. 
So first, of course, we looked at possibly about just uh, flying down there. We figured, hey, it would be super fast, super simple. You can get down there even in the same day and hike on up to, to uh, shelter that night and be done with it. But then looking at some things, you know, comparing prices, one, it was going to be tremendously expensive. Uh, number two as well, we would most likely have to check our bags underneath the airplane, which can risk getting them damaged. And as well, we can't bring fuel canisters on the airplane either. So we would have to find an outfitters down there and find fuel, which is just going to lead to more time, so on and so forth. So we figured flying down there, uh, the fact that we're only leaving from northern New Jersey, you know what, uh, let's look at some other options. So then we looked at possibly taking a rental car. I know that's not another hugely popular option. You know, we said, hey, we can kind of drive down on our own time. We can listen to some good music. We can alternate in driving, you know, stop when we want to, or we can choose to just drive through the night. It left us with some really good flexibility, as well as our packs would be right behind us, so they'll be protected. We'll have access to our equipment, so on and so forth. Super simple. But once again, comparing prices and things like that, number one, it would have been pretty expensive just to rent the car itself, um, even if we were splitting it up, and then even splitting gas and other other things along the way. You know, the costs are just going to add up from there. So, drive taking a rental car, although again, super super popular and definitely you know was a consideration. Unfortunately, that one was out as well. And then the last two were the most appealing to us out of all. So firstly, uh, taking a bus. We figured, number one, you know, it would have been super inexpensive. Um, obviously, we don't have to worry about paying for gas or anything. Our gear would be pretty protected right underneath the bus or even over the top of us if we're allowed to do that. Um, and we can just kind of sit there, relax, let us listen to some music, you know, watch some movies on our phones or iPods or something. Um, and, you know, yeah, it would be a longer drive, but we'd get down there accordingly. You know, nice appealing option. You know, certainly that is a pretty long drive. I think it's like 18 to 20 hours to get us from New York City all the way down to Athens, Georgia kind of thing. Um, you know, yeah, long drive, but the convenience of it, definitely really ideal for what we're looking for. And then, of course, taking a train. Uh, again, that would have just been insanely convenient. We could just hang out on the train. It would have taken maybe, it would have taken basically uh, just about a half a day to get all the way down there. So super nice and simple. Um, you know, again, we can just kind of listen, sit there, relax, have our bags right above our heads. Um, you know, listen to our music, watch our movies, that kind of stuff, and just relax the whole way down. On the negative side of things, it is a little bit expensive as well. It's pretty much the equivalent as paying for a plane ticket, almost. Almost. Um, so pretty expensive, especially we would have to buy our own tickets. You know, all the taxes and other fees that go with it as well. You know, it was, uh, you know, definitely a really nice ideal situation how we can just sit there, relax, do our stuff, and we'll get down there accordingly. But once again, it was pretty uh, expensive. So looking at everything there, weighing all of our options, seeing really how much we wanted to spend versus how much convenience that we wanted to have, so on and so forth, we decided to take a bus. We figured, yeah, sure, it's like an 18 hour overall drive to get down to Athens. Um, but some of the rates that we were able to find right out of New York City itself, uh, it just seemed super convenient, super inexpensive as well. Wait until you hear all the details about this and how inexpensive it is really going to be for us. So, okay. And then let me go over the overall details of our transportation, uh, the things we have plans, you know, to get us from northern New Jersey, from New York City, essentially. Uh, all the way down to Georgia and down to Amicalola. As, so, okay, as I said before, Fernando and I will be taking a bus. We're able to find some really inexpensive rates. So certainly cost was a huge consideration in all this uh, planning. So to start off with, Fernando and I will be departing from New York City uh, the afternoon of March 12th. That's a Monday, again, the afternoon, Monday, March 12th, we'll be departing New York City. We'll be taking uh, Megabus, which is hugely popular up and down the East Coast. They have really inexpensive rates, uh, so that's what we were able to find. Megabus right out of Penn Station, New York City. So leaving uh, the afternoon of March 12th, we'll be heading to Washington, D.C. It'll be about a four-hour bus ride, depending on traffic, of course. We should be arriving somewhere between 6 and 6.30 in the evening time in D.C. itself. So from there, we will then have a five-hour layover 
which is really not a problem for us. Obviously, I live down here, so I have lots of friends, uh, good people I know down here who I can hang out with for a few hours. We can always stop, get something to eat, you know, visit the local bar kind of thing, have a couple drinks, so on and so forth, relax a little bit. We'll have no problem killing time for a few hours before we have to get back on the bus. So for that first leg from New York to Washington, D.C., it was about a $5 ticket per person. The seat reservation fee was an additional $1 per person after taxes and things. Um, it came out to a total of $14. So and then after our five hour layover in Washington, D.C., we will get back on the bus and do that last leg uh, down to Athens, Georgia, as I said. We should be arriving uh, midday of March 13th. So midday, March 13th. Um, the last leg of that bus ride, it was about $10 a ticket per person, $1 seat reservation fee, obviously. Uh, so really, really nice and inexpensive. The total cost of the trip came out to like $47 and change. Just unbelievably inexpensive. I can't believe it. Uh, so we're super, super happy with that. Unbelievable. So once we actually get down to Athens, Georgia, uh, we actually booked a hotel to stay at the night of March 13th in Gainesville, Georgia. So of course we need to get our way from Athens to Gainesville. Now the hotel we're staying at is just some inexpensive motel. I can't remember the name of it. I have the reservation booked already and everything. Uh, the total of that was like $67 and change, which of course Fernando and I will split. Just super nice and simple. We figured it would be great to get in like a day early. That way after such a long bus ride, just sitting there the whole time, you know, we could kind of walk around town, stretch our legs a little bit, just relax, you know, go through our checklist one last time. If we have to stop into town to grab some uh, tiny little odds and ends, whatever it is, certainly we can do so. And then of course, you know, get a really nice meal into us, fill our bellies up real, real nice to start our hike. And then we'll be out and on the way. So now arriving in Athens, Georgia, we need to get ourselves to Gainesville, Georgia, to that hotel, of course. Now, thankfully, Fernando actually has a friend who lives down in Athens or Gainesville, Georgia, and so she offered to give us a ride. Of course, we'll throw our gas money, just thanking her for, you know, the support and helping us out and things like that. Of course, we really appreciate it, but throwing someone $20 worth of gas is a whole lot better than paying for like a 50, 60, 70, $80 uh, taxi or shuttle ride uh, all the way over to Gainesville from Athens. So definitely really nice cost savings for us. And then, so there we are, March 13th, we're in Gainesville. We had our hotel stay. Starting the morning of March 14th, we will be probably just taking a Lyft or an Uber, uh, picking us up at our hotel in Gainesville, bright and early, March 14th, Wednesday morning. And then we will be heading to Amicalola State Park. From there, of course, we will be having our packs weighed, our pictures taken, we'll sign in. Uh, we'll get our little tag and everything that we're through hiking the AT as well. Super, super excited about it. And then we are off and on the way. So again, just a quick breakdown. Mega bus, March 12th from New York City to Washington, D.C. Five hour layover from there. We'll be doing the last leg, March 12th, uh, from D Washington, D.C. Getting into Athens, Georgia, midday on March 13th. The total cost of that bus ride is about $47 and change. From Athens, Georgia, as a friend is gonna pick us up and bring us to Gainesville, Georgia, where we have a hotel stay overnight. The approximate cost of the hotel stay was about $67 and change. And then from Gainesville, Georgia, the morning of March 14th, we will be taking a Lyft or an Uber to uh, Amicalola State Park, where will we begin our through hike the cost of that taxi ride should anyway be anywhere between 45 and 55 dollars so the fact that we're going to spend a little over 150 but definitely less than 200 dollars for the entirety of our transportation and a hotel night stay for one night super awesome i am so happy with that cost um i'm so glad we could find those really inexpensive rates to save ourselves the money for the most important thing of all, our Appalachian Trail through hike. And then we're on the way, people. I am so, so excited for this. I've been planning this and waiting for this for a long time. Uh, within the last couple weeks, of course, there are those little details to go through, like calling my car insurance company, uh, calling my bank. Uh, my last day of work is tomorrow, Wednesday, February 28th. 
Oh man, it's gonna get, it's getting realer and realer by the day. Woo I am so excited. Oh man, oh man. Let me continue on down the way. Let me continue these miles. Just another beautiful day, another fantastic day hike. Ah, thank you guys so much for watching another great video. I hope this helps some of you guys out in uh, preparing for your own transportation and how you're getting down to Georgia, whether it be uh, Amicalola or of course Springer Mountain. There's so many different options to choose from depending on where you come from in the country, to, uh, where you come from in the world, obviously. Your choices uh, can be limited from there, but that's how we went about weighing our options and coming up with what we feel was the best method of transportation for us. So again, thank you guys so much. Be sure to subscribe down below to keep up to date with all my videos, including my up and coming Appalachian Trail through hike, which I am so excited for. Uh, hit that like button, hit that share button as well. Uh, be sure to leave me a comment or a question down below. You know I always do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching another great video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Pleasure as always. Baba Ganoush out. Boom.